Good morning, boys and girls. So today in math, you're gonna be working on an exemplar called Happy Birthday Abby. And it's an exemplar that has to do with fractions. We've done a lot of exemplars this year. We've done them whole group, we've done them small group, we've even done some in Math Congress. And so you guys are really good at doing them. It's been a little while and we haven't done one on fractions. So I'm gonna show you how you can do one with fractions today. Remember, when we do an exemplar, we're communicating our mathematical thinking. So we are trying to show how we got the answer in different ways. And we communicate it using numbers, pictures, and words. So I'm gonna show you a way that you can do that with my exemplar that I have, and it's called Pizza Time. So let's get started. So let's look at the problem we have here. Mrs. Brown made two pizzas because she had four very hungry children. How could she cut the pizzas so that each child has a fair share? So I'm going to solve that problem using numbers, pictures, and words. I'm making my checklist so when I am all done, I can check over my work. Let's get started. All right, so let's look and see what we have here. We wanna see and make sure that we have numbers, pictures, and words to communicate how we got the answer. The first thing I'm gonna start with is numbers. So when I look at my answer, I see a lot of different numbers on here. Usually, when we're working with our numbers, we're working with number sentences. In this case, we didn't necessarily need to add anything together, so I didn't need to use any addition or subtraction. But all of my fractions here count as my number, so I'm going to check that off. The next thing I'm going to look for is pictures. So here I drew both of my pizzas as a whole, and then I also drew my pictures as halves to show how much each child would get. So I can check that one off too. The last part is the words. This is the most important part that counts as the words. When we are explaining our words, it means writing in a sentence. Having our labels for pizza and our labels for the children count as words, but we also wanna make sure that we have sentences to explain what we did. And in our sentence, you should have some good math words. So here I can see Mrs. Brown could cut the two pizzas in half. That would make four equal parts for her children to share. Each child gets one half of a pizza. So I have some of my math vocabulary in there. I have given the answer, and so I can check that off just like that. And that's how I explain my thinking using numbers, pictures, and words. All right, boys and girls, so remember, you're not doing the pizza time exemplar today. That was just me showing you an example. Yours is the happy birthday exemplar, but it's also on fractions. You guys have been doing so awesome on fractions this week. I've loved seeing your Play-Doh fractions, your fraction boogie, your charts, and all kinds of things. So keep up the great work, and I can't wait to see your mathematical thinking today. Have a great Friday. Bye.